getting ready for calculus and here is question number 5 for you determine slope of tangent to the function f of x equals to 3x plus 6 divided by x at x equals to 2 now calculus is all about finding slope of tangent for different types of graphs now this is a fundamental question which you should know very well before getting into calculus correct you have done rate of change and in rate of change to find instantaneous rate of change you have used a method which is called difference quotient method so we are going to use the same method here now uh, let me first show you what that method is so it says slope let's say slope is m then slope m is change in y value over change in x value right that's the slope of any line now, when we have a tangent, then and that too, and in this case, in this case, it is at x equals to two. Then, change in y and change in x are referring to a point which is very close to the point at x equals to two. Now, we are given the x value, but we are not given the y value. So, in such cases, we should also find what y value is y value will be f of 2 okay so let's write down here f of 2 is equals to x is 2 so 3 times 2 is 6 let me write first 3 times 2 plus 6 over x is 2 so it is 2 correct so 3 times 2 is 6 6 plus 6 is 12 12 divided by 2 gives us 6 and therefore f of 2 is 6 now we are considering a point which is very close to x equals to 2 rather a point very close to the coordinate 2 comma 6 right because that's the y value so that is what we are trying to consider so let's take two points which are very close so let's say the point p is the given point which is 2 6 and let the point q be slightly away we are saying 2 plus h away. So that, that's what we mean, slightly away. Now where h is very small, I say very, very small as compared to 1, h could be approaching 0 kind of, right? It's very, very small. So that point is very close to 2, right? So at that point, what is the y value? Y value, we don't know. So we'll write f of, instead of x, we are writing the x value of 2 plus h. Right? So your knowledge of functions will help you solve these problems. Right? So that is the basic thing. So here, as we see, slope is delta y over delta x. Now, if we choose two points which are very, very close, then that slope will not be a secant. This will give me slope between two points, which is going to be slope of the secant. But if the other point is very, very close, then it becomes a tangent, right? So, we can write this general equation here as f of 2 plus h minus f of 2, the value at 2, divided by the point x difference will be 2 plus h minus 2, right? Where we are saying h is very, very small as compared to 1 we are writing, but it is kind of approaching zero right so do you understand this statement f of 2 plus h means y value at x equals to 2 plus h do you see that which we calculate well, which we'll calculate soon minus f2 y value at 2 right and x change in x will be 2 plus h the point right and 2 so that becomes difference of quotient right this is what we are calling difference of quotient and that gives you slope of tangent at that point right now let's see how to find f of 2 plus h 2 plus h means you have to replace x with 2 plus h so we'll write here 3 times 2 plus h plus 6 divided by 2 plus h minus f of 2 and f of 2 we calculated is 6 so we'll write 6 here okay divided by we have 2 plus h minus 2 it gives us h so that's what we get 
Now we can simplify this, right? So let's take common denominator. So when so we get in the numerator 3 times 2 plus h, I could have opened it at this stage, plus 6 minus 6 times 2 plus h divided by, so this comes in the denominator, h times 2 plus h. Correct? So that is what we get. Now we can expand and simplify. So 3 times 2 is 6, let me write 6 plus 3h plus 6 minus 12 minus 6h divided by h times 2 plus h. Correct? Now let's take it to the right side and simplify. Let me write it in a different thing. So 6 plus 6 is 12 and 12 minus 12 is 0. Now here we get 3h minus 6h which is minus 3h. So I will write m equals to 3h minus 6h which is minus 3h divided by h times 2 plus h. Correct? Now from here h and h cancel out, right? So we get slope equals to minus 3 over 2 plus h. Do you see that? So now if h is very very close that means we are saying h is kind of 0 0.0001. Think like this. Very very close. In that case h is almost 0, right? So we can put a value 0, right? For our work. And then we say minus 3 over 2. So that becomes the slope of the tangent at x equals to t as at x equals to 2 for the function f of x equals to 3x plus 6 divided by x, right? So you can write your answer as m slope equals to minus 1.5, correct? So that is your answer. So have a good look at it. Try to understand the method. And we are going to use this method a lot in calculus when we are trying to find slope of tangent using limits, right? This kind of will give you the definition of limits soon. So that's the whole idea. Now, Once you know the slope, sometimes we also ask equation of the tangent. Then you can use this point and write down the equation of the tangent also, right? So I hope this helps you. And go through it very nicely and clearly. Uh, if you have... If you need more practice problems, then I'll suggest look into instantaneous rate of change problems, which we have already solved in a playlist on polynomials and rate of change. Okay? Thank you and all the best.